Seventeen months long, baby. Broke the looking back. Seven years of bad love. Good things in your past. Very What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Your boy right here, Lockout Men. Welcome to another Lockout Men's Travels video. I'm here in Ohio at our Columbus, I mean, terminal. At first, I thought I was gonna luck out and not get a trailer. I think I was gonna find a, a trailer, you know. All right, that's pretty good, it's already set. So again, at first I didn't think I was gonna find a trailer over here. I thought I might have to go back over to uh, Columbus Marketplace to find a trailer. I found one, so we're about to hook up to that and get ready to go. First place we about to head to is somewhere that I've never been before in Wilmington, Ohio. The load don't pick up until 10 o'clock. Yeah, I'm not even an hour and a half away from there. Once I get over there, we're gonna take that load down to Minnesota. Now, I had, it's been a while since I've been back up to the north. Lightweight happy that I'm going back up there for several reasons. Number one, I get a chance to go back to Mall of America. If you spent only 10 minutes in each store of the mall, it would take 86 hours to complete the tour. So you better love shopping when you come here. And another reason is that I get will get a chance to play some cards up at Canterbury. I haven't played poker in over a month. That is a good accomplishment. When it comes to time to saving some money, you really, <laughs> you really and truly gotta be vigilant and not, you know, going into the casinos and gambling your money away. Casino, Planet Fitness, casino. Yeah, I chose Planet Fitness over to over the casino, and my body is, my body is feeling it. <laughs> And now for my next number, I'd like to return to the classics. Uh. So let's go ahead and uh, get up out of here. Go ahead and uh, get on duty. Go ahead and do my pre-trip right quick. Come back to the truck and we about to hit the road. Like I said, the, the place where I'm going to is not that far from here. not to like this place unfortunately I can't tell you guys where I'm at I know you guys probably have an idea fortunately I can't talk about where I'm at so far I am NOT liking where I'm at so I get down here I get the door that I'm assigned to I had to come out to my truck like three times The check-in lady, not the most friendliest person that you ever want to meet. You know, this might make you rethink the reason why we have to pay for parking. This uh, gravel lie is horrendous potholes and everything going on in this parking lot right here look i i got something that's on my mind i was thinking about the cat that got killed uh 
that got killed in his uh, car. Up and coming U.S. rapper XXX Tentacion was killed on Monday. Florida police say the 20 year old was shot while leaving a motorsports dealership 40 miles outside Miami. His real name was Jose Onfroy. The Broward County Sheriff's Department later confirmed his death. Authorities say two men fled the scene in a dark SUV after one had opened fire in what investigators say may have been a robbery. A couple of days ago, last week, maybe, I don't know. A lot of people was talking about him. I don't know his name. I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But a lot of you rappers out here, these new age rappers, a lot of you guys is, is getting killed. <laughs> it's getting shot at. I don't understand why, but whatever y'all doing, y'all need to stop. Man, there's way too many, too many people out here getting killed over some trivial bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that, the only, the only other more thing about it uh, is that how the social media is preceding this dude, man. I mean, social media is is a damn thing. I mean, it's it, it really is. I mean, social media just changed the outlook of everything. It changed the outlook of how everybody perceives everything out here. And it's a damn shame that people want to get video of stuff just for lights comments and and views other than getting out there to help somebody or to see if that person may or may not need some help this guy got shot in the car somebody ran up on him took him out and all you can figure out is doing is pulling out your phone and running up to the car and take video of of him dying in the car or of him hurt in the car so you could give commentary like oh man look at what's going on this guy's hurt yada 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 somebody need to call the ambulance you got a phone dude why don't you call the ambulance 911 you know what I'm saying you got all these people that's pulling out the phones checking out this dude and then and not one now one of you guys wanted to 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 help this guy out or to make or to at least see if he was all right I just don't get it just don't understand it his family his family probably was the last people to know that this cat was dead or dying or shot instead of the actual police coming to let them know that you know that their that their loved one was involved in a horrendous incident no what y'all want to do y'all want to get it up on youtube y'all want to get it up on tmz y'all want to get it up on live link it's a damn shame the world we living in right now man i mean it is it's a damn shame i seen this meme and it shows that the the character was drowning and it shows a whole bunch of people and he, he's he got his hand up he got his hand up like you know reaching for help but instead of throwing him a life preserver or anything like that they break out their cameras and 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 take pictures, take videos, you know, something shocking. Put it up on Facebook, too graphic for you to see. Click on it anyway so you can watch it and see what happened. Curiosity, we all got it. Let me ask you something. Did you film the guy shooting him? Did you catch the car that he was in? Did you catch the license plate? Did you catch anything that will help the police catch this guy? This morning we have just confirmed an arrest, an arrest I should say, in the murder of rapper XXX Tentacion. So this is the guy now facing charges in Florida, 22-year-old Dedrick Williams. The Broward County Sheriff's Office tells us they arrested him last night. He was already wanted on a probation violation for grand theft auto. Yes. <laughs> 
I got a question though, for real, for real, about this, about the internet, man. 20, 30, 10, 15, 20 years ago, I got a question. Where was the internet when Biggie and Tupac got killed or got shot? It had to be somebody out there, right? It had to be somebody out there with a video camera or with a phone at that time. Where was the internet then? Internet caught the dude that uh, that killed this young man, this uh, this dude, Triple X. New Jack rappers, these these New Jack rappers out here now, man. You guys, I mean, it's a good thing that I don't listen to you guys. I'm a old school. I guess that's why I'm not even hip to this dude. They over here talking about this cat is the Nets is is our generation Tupac and they said that he was noticed you know now everybody's coming out of the woodwork talking about how sweet this dude was how how uh how talented he was and stuff like that well if he was all that and you thought that then why you guys ain't do nothing with him? You guys over here talking about how hot he was and how how this and how that but why you guys didn't do that shit when he was alive? To promote this dude like, you know, this is the next, this is the next Tupac or whatever. Maybe I'm old, which I am. <laughs> so I guess maybe y'all did. I don't know if y'all did or didn't, but I, I haven't heard of this dude. I'm from the old school. I, I like old school cats, you know, Rod Kim, uh, The Lot, Eric B, KRS-One, uh, Public Enemy, Chuck D. I'm from that era. You know what I'm saying? Scarface, Ghetto Boys, NWA. I'm from I'm from that era. You know what I'm saying? I'm from an era where where hip hop was diverse and hip hop was good. This this repeating the hook over and over and over again. I'm not with that. Much much condolence out to that dude right there. Much condolences out to all the, the all the rappers that that got killed in in this in this limelight you know whatever y'all doing man y'all y'all really need to stop you know what i'm saying this this beef and shit is really is really for the fucking bird start your day truck let me tell you how my pre-trip went I'm outside doing my pre-trip my walk around making sure everything is on point so I pull my truck up out of the water right there you see what I'm saying? so as I pull my truck up out of the water I come back here and check this out yeah, yeah, not cool, <laughs> not cool. So let me give you guys some tips right quick. It's always cool to have some tools. Doesn't matter, a pair of vice grips, some some wrenches, a flathead screwdriver, a, a Phillips screwdriver. You know what I'm saying? You know, some simple stuff or some simple tools that you can do some simple tasks. The mud flap, in my opinion, is a simple task. You really don't need to take that into a shop and, you know, have them to put a mud flap on. Okay, okay, okay. Place number two. Um, I drove... Uh, <laughs> Drove some good miles right quick. I forgot to go off duty, but it's all good. I'll, I'll go and uh, change that up when I get back to the truck. But I'm over here at this TL. Right off the highway. Coming over to this TA. Let's go in here and see if they got what I need. Right here? Yeah. And, 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 and will the holes line up? Will the holes line up? Uh... 
the M one. All right, YouTube. As you guys can see, still a work in progress. That didn't take long at all, did it? I asked my man, I was like, yo, how you do that? He took out this little, this little razor. What's it? She used the blade. Young lady, you know, using the razor blade, which was kind of dangerous. This dude used what looked like a, looked like one of these razors. I don't know what he did, but shit. That shit looks smooth as fuck. Let's see if we can get this bitch on here. On my way, we about to head up to uh, Minnesota. I gotta make, I gotta make one more damn stop to the flying shade to get some damn fuel. All right, y'all, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. This door, this door right here, is gonna stay closed for the duration of this trip. I got the okay to, to chill. My uh, appointment ain't until Monday. Right now it's uh, Saturday. Either one or a few things that might happen. Right now, I'm, I'm taking the off chance, the off chance that they might be able to unload me early. Decided to walk over here to the cold side to to see if how you doing? All right now to see if I can drop it early. I don't know. We about to find out. Well, there you have it. I am uh, I am spending the weekend here in minnesota unplanned weekend uh they take loads up until four o'clock <sighs> if only i would have got here a little bit earlier man i i wish i would have knew up until four o'clock i probably could have got it in there i am here in hopkins y'all i've made it trips over <sighs> Vlog's done. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to put this particular vlog together because I already ended it in the truck. But since the mud flap incident this morning, I'm tripping. I would have got here earlier if it hadn't have been for the mud flap incident. Thank you, whoever snatched that off. Yeah, I definitely would have got here early if I didn't have that mud flap situation. Damn it, man. You know what, that should be perfect because I should I should get a pre-plan on Monday. So, actually this worked out, this worked out kinda smooth. Yeah.